what I want to talk about right now is going to be something that is very important to me and it's something that has made me so much money and it's something that I want every single trader here to know. And what that is, is keywords look for in hot press releases. I bring it up a lot. I talk about it a lot, but if you guys do not know what I'm talking about, you guys are missing out. Now, keywords look for in a hot press release. What does that mean? It's really simple enough, just as I said, keywords to look for in a hot press release. Now, whenever I see one of these keywords, I can automatically say to myself, this is a stock I wanna be watching. I can automatically say to myself, this is a stock I want to be ready for to possibly go on a nice big rip, to possibly go on a nice big run, to possibly take off huge, because these are words that emotionally bring in excitement to traders, or for penny stock traders at least as well. Now, again, for bigger stocks, yes, but when we talk about penny stocks, it's a lot of emotions going on. And that's why a lot of trades, uh, a lot of stocks spike huge, a lot of stocks go on massive rips, a lot of stocks take on off. Because traders say, oh my gosh, you know, we have this, you know, title of this press release and it's going to go on a huge rip. So without even reading, without even reading a lot of these plays or a lot of these press releases, I know immediately if this stock's going to be able to go on this nice rip or if it's going to go on, you know, nothing or if it's going to drop. So I look at keywords, look for a hot press release and let's just go over these. Positive, receives, grants, FDA, approval, drug trials. Cancer, improvements, benefits, beneficial, agreement, partnership, any large sum of money, investors, billionaire, Carl Icahn, phase one, phase two, phase three, successful, fast track, breakout, increase, acquire, accepted, new, contract, awarded, signs, completes, merger, promising, gain, increase, Primary, endpoints, achieves, achievement, launches. Now, when I'm reading those, you guys can basically get the gist that 90% of them are on like a positive, good feeling vibe. You know, we acquired this, we were awarded, you know, we increased, we achieved, you know, we have an agreement, we improved, we have approval, we received, you, have, you know, these are all very good things, positive things. And that is going to bring in positive gains. You know, when you see something that makes you happy, when you see something that makes you good, oh, wow, we were awarded this, you know, grant because we have this agreement with this company that's going to lead towards our positive, you know, an outcome. It brings in a lot of excitement. Now, what I talk about, guys, the reason we learn about these is because we just want to know what, are, what is going to make stocks spike. And if we see these certain words, we know that these, uh, these are going to lead to stocks, you know, taken on off. These are going to lead to stocks getting a nice big rip. Timing is everything. And as we talked about earlier today, if you are late to a play, what happens? You know what? You're not going to be able to make money off it. So today, you know, let's just go over stocks today and you can see how relevant it is. DCAR. DCAR went from 284, gapped up to 350, spiked up to 396. Why? Because it came out with what? New agreement with Jaguar Land Rover Manhattan. Okay. What? I don't even have to read this. Forget this. Don't need to read this. All I know, if I'm looking through this, let's say I'm looking through this in the morning, I wake up, I watch Deckmar Trades News Scanner, and I say to myself, what? Okay, I'm watching the news come on through, okay? So I'm just sitting here at seven in the morning, watching the news, okay, watching the news, watching the news, boom, DCAR, float, says NA, not available. Nine out of 10 times, that means it's a very low float. Okay, drop car, signs, new agreement with Jaguar, boom. I, I don't need to waste another three to four minutes buying into this play. I can immediately see, say, boom, I have what keywords? New and agreement. So what keywords do I have right here? Agreement, right here. New, right here. So I have a one-star word and a three-star word. So three-star word, one-star word, new agreement, DCAR, immediately jumping up all the way up to 350, spiking all the way up to 398, because I already know immediately that we are going to be seeing some sort of hype towards this play, that we are going to be seeing some sort of attention towards this play. And that's what you guys have to understand at all times. You know, when you guys see these big time gap ups, there's reasonings behind them. You know, let's see, uh, it, it doesn't, it isn't going to be every single, every single time, but uh, the majority of them. What do we have here? ACHV, where this gap up, 140, all the way up to 212. 
Let's turn on pre-market. Let's see. So pre-market, you can see the nice spike right here, the nice rip. You know, the, and why is that? Well, let's see. Achieves phase one, phase two. Do I want to waste my time reading this whole entire thing? No, I don't have that much time. I want to see the, the title, and I want to know if this is going to spike or not. It takes me two seconds. I say, hey, announces you know, data from phase one, phase two. And what do I know that we have? So we have achieves, announces data on phase one, phase two. Well, first thing I come across, number 26, achieves. Number 26 is achieves. Then I have phase one, phase two. Achieves is a two-star word. Phase one is one-star word. Phase two is two-star word. Immediately, what do I know? I could go ahead and buy the stock. You know, things you always want to look for, of course, are going to be maybe lower float plays. Um, and it's always good. I always like to read into it after, you know, or let's say you read it really quickly and nothing's, you know, going on the level two. You know, maybe type out your order and maybe before you go ahead and hit the buy, always look at the CEO statement. You know, make sure the CEO statement, make sure he's happy, make sure he's positive, make sure he's saying, you know, okay, then you can go ahead and dive into it. But a lot of the times what I do, if I see something big come out immediately, I say to myself, oh, wow, we achieved positive phase one or positive phase two. Okay, awesome. You know, I can go ahead and buy into this play. It's a low float stock. I know from these words, excitement's going to come through. Oh, wow, we have a new agreement with Jaguar Land Rover on a, you know, DCAR on a 1 million in float stock. Okay, immediately I know that this is going to go on a nice rip. Immediately I know this is going to go on a nice pop. The biggest spikes you see, guys, the biggest rips you see, that's like HMNY on these giant rips. Um, I'm trying to think, you know, just on big time news. ALDX, ALDX right here, this is uh, positive phase three. What was last week? MBRX. When did MBRX go from 180? Ripped all the way up to 260. Then ripped all the way up to 336. That's a play you don't want to miss. Don't want to miss this one. So what can you do? MBRX. When did this come out? February 15th. All I have to do is uh, all I have to do is read the title on these two that came out at February 15th. This one actually came out first at 8:30 in the morning. 8:30 in the morning. <laughs> we have a breakthrough. Great keyword right there. Breakthrough. Discovery. A breakthrough discovery. It's a new discovery. You know, we're breaking through on cancer treatment. Cancer treatment's huge, guys. Why is cancer treatment huge? Because it's something that, you know, even in today's world, we really don't have too well. You know, we don't have amazing, you know, cancer treatment. Uh, we don't have anything that is 100%, you know, saying we can cure cancer. So whenever we have, you know, cancer treatment talk and we have a breakthrough discovery on cancer, that's why cancer right here is a three-star word. Very important. Three-star word. Very important. Breakthrough. Anything positive, you know, drug treatment with cancer brings in massive hype. That's why the stock went from 180, spiked all the way up to 335. If you want to look at this a little bit more, you know, we could see the scientific community recognizes a small potential molecule as a game changer. Um, you know, it, 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 we improve the ability to treat a broader range of the most difficult cancers to, you know, uh, work with. You know, we uh, so much has happened this first few months. I don't even know where to recap. Like, it's just a lot of good, positive news. And that's why this has gone on a massive rip. So there, after you guys learn these keywords, look for in hot press releases, what can you guys do? You guys could sit here. You guys can, uh, you know, read the streaming news. And I see, hey, you know what? Okay, you know, 6 million float stock. Hey, we have positive phase three trials. Boom, immediately. I go over to my level two. Or I go over to my E-Trade, I type in, you know, whatever I want, you know, whatever, whatever stock it is. Let's say it's DAIO, and I get in right away. I'm not wasting 20 minutes to try to figure out, hey, should I get in or not? Oh, uh, you know, 20 minutes, oh, should I get in or not? It's like, hey, either the stock's going to do nothing or it's going to spike. A stock doesn't come out with positive phase three and then just, you know, um, and just, and it falls. It doesn't happen. You know, it doesn't, it, no, no, nothing's going to come out with, hey, we have breakthrough cancer discovery. And then falls. If it's still at the same place, go ahead and look to you know go ahead and look to enter. If anything, it's going to move on up. Or if the worst case scenario, it just sits there and does nothing. Now some people will wait very long, like MBRX. MBRX uh, went all the way up to you know 331. Then it fell all the way down to like you know 265. And then people are like, Deck, you know, I thought you said it would never fall. No, it's not going to fall if you're the first one in it, the second one, third one in it. After the stock has already gone from 180 all the way up to three dollars, obviously people are going to you know look to you know come back on down. But you know if you see a positive whatever, 
you see we have a positive breakthrough uh, in cancer studies and the stock's not moving, you could technically be the first one in it because a lot of people say, hey, oh, I saw this when it was here, but I didn't think there was much volume, so I didn't want to hop in. Sometimes I'll go ahead, I'll see a press release, I'll hop in on it, and you know what? No volume ever comes. And you know what I do? I just get out. And I, you know what? I, I make zero dollars. I lose zero dollars. I lose zero dollars. I win zero dollars. But you know what? A lot of times I hop in on a stock after just reading my keywords, nothing's happening. And all of a sudden, boom, a huge volume rush comes in. Why? Because finally people are reading it. People read it and now they're buying. It's just, you know, when you do it enough, you become the first one in. When you do it enough, you become so quick that you're beating everyone to it. And what's so great about that? You're the first one in. So since you're the first, second, third one in, everyone else in the world, everyone else in the world is going to be after you, which means you're going to be at the bottom and you're going to be getting all your profits, you know, all the way up high because everyone's reading it late. So how can you guys, you know, perfect this if you guys wanted to? Well, first things first, I've gone over this a few times in the past. If you guys are on equity feed, you could just go by search by keywords and you literally could just type in every single keyword right here. So if I just want to type in, you know, let's just go with like, uh, I don't know, I type in cancer, add, you know, let's just submit this. You know, is there anything with, you know, cancer today? No, there's not really anything with cancer today. So, I mean, a lot of times what I would like to do is I would type in everything I would have here. So, so I would just type in P-O-S-I-T-I-V-E, so I have positive. Okay, let's go with R-E-C-E-I-V-E-S. Let's go here, let's go with agreement. Like, I, only I would type in everything, like literally everything. And then I would add it, submit it. And then I would just sit here and wait, you know, and okay, like these are all the ones that came out with the word positive agreement today. And these are all like, you know, MRDN. That's what MRDN this morning, MRDN. What happened in pre-market this morning? Boom, shot on up, massive rip. Okay, like EGLT. Let's see what happened on EGLT. Oh, okay. Whenever you see like four of these in a row, whenever you see like biotech technology, abuse markets and positive projections. Okay, then another one, then another one, then another one. It doesn't make it strong. So whenever you see like four or five of these in a row of the same thing, don't buy it because it's not as strong. You know, it's not as strong. But you can see down here is DCAR, you know, the low float play. So you want low float, good news. Now, let's say, hey, you don't, you don't want to buy uh, equity feed. You don't want to spend $200 a month. What was the other little cheat sheet I taught you guys how you guys can get a lot of this uh, free, free news? That's what I used to do back in the day when I was in college. You have to go to marketwatch.com. Let me just see if I can log in here. I, I, you know, I rarely ever go to marketwatch.com anymore. Let me see if I can log in, if I can remember this for you guys. If not, I'll just tell you guys how to do it, of course. All right, awesome. So you go to marketwatch.com. I've already talked to you guys about this before. I just want to make sure if anyone is new, they know how to do it. You would log in. Uh, you know, up top, after you log in, you go to emails and alerts. Now, this is how you guys can see all the keywords that you guys would want to look at. Um, and there's different ways. So this, uh, this is how I used to get all the press releases I would like for free, but it is, you know, kind of labor intensive. So what you would do is you log in, obviously my email, the email is hooked up to my phone. So my email is hooked up to my phone. Um, and you guys, you know, can understand that, that everyone probably has their email hooked up to their phone nowadays. And you guys are probably going to want to make a separate email. Or you're just going to get blasted like every single day. So I just like created a spare email I rarely ever use. And you would go like create an alert. Now down here, this is just from like back in my olden days, I would do alert, uh, create an alert. This would be news by symbol. So I talked about this before in the past where I would say news by symbol and let's every single day I would type in the top gainers. So, okay, I don't want to miss another rip on DCAR. So I would write in DCAR here and then I don't want to miss another rip on like MBRX. So I type in MBRX here and I don't want to miss a rip on HMNY. So anytime HMNY comes out with news, I want to get a news here. You know, CBIO, I want to get that here. So that's how you do news by symbol. You go to all services because that's what you want to get. You want market watch news. You want anything that ever comes out on this, you know, these companies. You know, your, uh, your email that you probably don't use, and then your immediate. You don't want it once a day. I want it the moment it comes out. Again, everything's time intensive. So then I go ahead, I click finish, and then you know what? I'm all set, and I will be getting what? There's a problem with information here. Oh, the symbol's not valid. Okay, so, oh, I probably have to put these money signs beforehand. So you probably have to put the money signs beforehand. 
um, or you have to have spaces. So you guys are all set here. But then you go ahead, you click finish, and then you get basically what I had to you guys before, where you have what? All these different, all these different like uh, uh, stocks that come through. You can put up to like 30 before you have to make a different list. So that's why I have like 30 here, then I have 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 30 here, but I would just keep going, going, going until I had like hundreds of rows. So I would get all the news. So you have to kind of just go through, I'd go to lowfloat.com, just type in every single low float. Or again, what you could do is what? What's underneath news by symbol, news by keyword. So if you want to go to news by keyword, you know, you have this right here. And then basically, you know, must contain the keyword, let's go like cancer. You know, you have the word cancer or you have the word positive or you have anything like that, you know, must contain this keyword. So whenever we have the word cancer, I want to know. Whenever we have the word positive, you know, anything like this, you know, positive, you know, I want to know. So you would have that, go through all services, choose time, immediate, boom, done, it'll be sent to your phone. So, but the, um, but what you want to understand is with the news like this way, you're going to get a lot of press releases, like anything that comes out and you can't really, uh, you can't um, go through, you know, like price ranges. So you're going to get a lot of different price ranges, which is why it's tough. So you're going to get a lot of different price ranges, why, why the news is tough, which is why I started just doing tickers. Like news by keyword is tough because, hey, if you don't care, if you're like, hey, I want any, everything from $0 all the way up to $200, you know, per share on stock companies, okay, then do it this way. But if, if you guys just want penny stocks, then just type in all the penny stocks you want. You'll get the news and then just know the keywords that you guys should look for. Then... Of course, hey, you know what? You know, okay, DCRI just came out with news, but nothing I want. Okay, DCAR just came out with positive cancer treatments. Okay, boom, now I want to get in. So you guys are all good and can completely understand that. So that's a little freeway. But the most important thing is to just understand what these keywords are. Just go ahead, read through them all, and then once you finish reading through them all, read through them all again. And once you did that, read through them all again and read through them all again. You know, you should be able to see a keyword in a hot press release and be able to say, boom, I know that one. Okay, I'm going in, low float stock, watch this thing run. So I want you to be, you know, ready to rock. I want you guys to be ready to go. I want you guys to be um, ready to play every time you see these keywords because that is going to lead to easy profits. That's going to lead to easy rips and that's going to lead to some very big excitement. So make sure you guys are set. If you have any questions, definitely let me know. But that press through these uh, keywords are so, so important. So uh, please let me know if you have any questions on that. But make sure you guys enjoy and take in this lesson.